All right, this is Ellie Tom Melamine, Breatharian, and here I am in wonderful India, Mumbai, India. And I was some real special guests here, Bhavan Shah and also Tejas. Tejas. <laughs> and we're having a real lovely time as we're working with these energies because being on the pranic path is how well you work with energy. Everybody working with energy either by knowing or by default. It doesn't matter. You live in an energetic realm and everybody's working with sound and light. But when you get the knowledge on how to work with energy, you can have a whole lot of fun with the energy work. Today we're going to talk about charging things up. See, if you listen to my message about living on prana, what you're doing is charging yourself up. The more you meditate, the more you go into the light, your energy start growing where you can hold more light. But listen at this. We all are familiar with Nikolai Telsa. And he was talking about all the energy that's in the atmosphere. So he began to make instruments that could grab this free energy, harness it, and use it for other things. We know this now. This is why wireless technology got a lot stronger. And we're the first wireless te uh, technology that's on the planet or that we work with. Now we have William Wright to work with organ. Organ comes from the word orgasm, sexual energy. But he's basically saying the energy that's in the atmosphere could be harnessed and grabbed. So he took all natural things to harness that energy. I have a um, necklace on right now that's made out of organite. Okay. And what it is is uh, there's some materials that actually conduct energy a lot better than others. So in this uh, material, there's copper, there's all different types of metals. And the way they're placed just by this setup, it draws more energy to it. So you can use this for healing as you walk around. You can charge it up with meditation and prayer. And we're going to talk more about that, how you can do everyday things yes. to charge them up. Okay. Now right now I'm going to turn it over to Bob and Shah. Okay. And he has a whole lot of good healing devices here. Yeah. But he's using the knowledge of how to charge things up. Yes. Take it from here. Okay. Yes, hello everyone. So uh, we will just be sharing with you some technologies that uh, I have been using and which uh, Elitom also enjoyed and endorsed. Uh, so he here are some of these. Uh, these are, uh, th this is a spear, it, it looks like a spear, it is called a veil and it belongs to, uh, this is a larger one, uh, it belongs to this Hindu god Kartikeya, the brother of Ganesha. And uh, this represents the human spine and this is the human brain. And he is the lord of the Pleiades. Uh, he is also called Muruga. Uh, and the lord of the Kritika Nakshatra. Uh, the lord of Mars, uh, the planet Mars. He is very instrumental in the planet Mars and is represented by the color red. So this, this carries his energy. This has been blessed by my uh, master, Dr. Pillai. And this is a yantra of uh, Lord Kartikeya. So all of these uh, and th these are highly energy sensitive and uh, Alitom being himself very energy sensitive could feel the energies in, uh, in these products. Wow. Now notice he said it was blessed by his master. Now what does that mean? That means he charged it up. He, charged he put it. his energy into it yeah. and it stays there. So when a person like me who's more sensitive or anybody, yes. you can feel this energy. Yes. Now even if you aren't uh, energetic sensitive, yes. the energy is still there, so people can use this for healing where they're feeling numb in different places in the body. Yes. Oh man, we could do so much with this. Yes. <laughs> it is something I use uh, while I am meditating, I hold it in my hands, and uh, when I am doing my healing work on others, uh, I use this again in my hands or, or for them to energize them uh, wherever the energization is required. So this is one form, this is a Hindu technology uh, uh, belonging to the Tantric science, the Hindu Tantric science, Hindu Agamic and Vedic sciences and uh, this has really really worked well uh, with me uh, in the last few months I would say. Uh, besides this, uh, there are these products, these are some activated uh, holograms mm. uh, by uh, Madonna May. Uh, she does this excellent work of downloading the energies of the sacred flames uh, and the archangels uh, and the Arcturians 
uh, and all of these divine beings uh, into these cards and she activates them. These are available on our website living with the sacred living with the sacred flames dot com. And and again, the energy is high on it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to know about them through Dr. Scott Werner, who once mentioned that whenever he stands on these cards, uh, within a matter of three, four minutes, his entire legs start burning. That is how powerful they are. So these cards are used to charge up water and charge up food whenever you uh, have water and food. So uh, you, you place your flask on top of it and it, it gets charged. But you, I also use them in my bathtub. Uh, or I also sleep on them occasionally. And whenever I'm healing people, I get them to uh, sleep on these. Or I get them to buy and use them uh, on a daily basis at their homes. So these are the energies of the Archangels uh, activated cards. They are not just print on la paper and lamination. It is much, much more than that. Uh, it, it has the energies embedded within them by Madonna May uh, of living with the sacred flames. Absolutely. And look how he used the word uh, ancient technology. Yeah. So when you look at modern day technology, they're just mimicking ancient yeah. technology. First of all, you, there's some materials that's more conductive than others. Yeah. We're using metals. And what, what conductivity means is that the electrons that's in the atmosphere can pass through things more smoothly. Yeah. That's basically what we're saying. So what we're saying, even on living on prana, our bodies are carbon-based, just like coal, just like diamonds. So the electron can pass through it a lot more smoothly. So we're able not only to harness these electrons, we can pass them on into other objects. Yeah. And when you do that with different thoughts, yeah. with your intention, and you can actually keep it there, and the more you charge it up through prayer, through meditation, yeah. you can charge up devices to use it for different types of healing. Yeah. Now there's a negative aspect to it too, we do it also, but we don't need to talk about that. Yeah. Once you get the point of what we're talking about, yeah. this is what being a, a living a pranic life is all about. Yeah. You have the knowledge on how to use these technologies. Yes. Now he even says something about standing on it, yeah. meditating on it. Yeah. And when you deal with Nikolai Tesla and Wilhelm Wright, yeah. when they were di de de dealing with different instruments that they were making, uh, Wilhelm Wright was making chairs for instance. You can make organ pillows yeah. when you lay on it. You can feel the energy as it's collected in from the atmosphere, yeah. uh, healing the body. Yeah. So again, we got much information in this age that we live in. Yeah. It's not about prove it, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can even get on the internet and learn how to make your own in, uh, organ devices. I made organ pillows, organ blankets. Okay. You can charge up your tables. Yeah. You can charge up your clothes. You can charge up the crystals. Yeah. So this is some real stuff we're talking yes. about. Yes. Now continue. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. So uh, this is the third thing I would like to share. These are again uh, holograms. Uh, the, and these are prepared. Uh, these are for various purposes. This one is for pain relief. Uh, this one is to enhance the energy level 1000x. This is to enhance healing in general. This is for positive thinking. Now listen about this. Yeah. This is powerful. Yeah. So it's more than just energy you're putting into something. Now they got even deeper. Yeah. They use their intent yeah. to have a specific purpose yeah. on how you want the energy to work. Yes. This is awesome again. Yeah. This is what you can do. It's sort of like when I do my uh, retreats. Sometimes I'll take a person's hand and I'll show them how to turn the energy hot. Yeah. Just do intent. Then they'll rub their hands and do it again and turn it to be cold. Your intent controls the potential of how the energy, how you want it to direct it. Yeah. This is why we create our reality. Yeah. So again, this one is for what? Enhance energy levels. Yeah. Pain relief. Yeah. We do it all the time, but now you're becoming conscious on how to work with these energies for energy work so you can have a better life. Yes. I can tell you, this is awesome. Yeah, this one is is a tumor buster. Uh, this is for raising Kundalini. This one is for any cardiac issues. Uh, another one is for blood pressure. The next is for cancer buster. So, with all the, these are custom made cards depending on what are your goals in life and providing the necessary energies. Again, these are used in a similar way to uh, charge your uh, water and food. And I like that one. Charging yeah. your water and food. Yeah. 
There's even a thing from the Japanese uh, doctor, I forgot his name right now. Masaru. Right, Masaru. Yeah. Yamoto, yeah. And uh, what was his thing again? He took the yeah. microscope and looked at water and see how it was. Yeah. Then he did a, a thing where people put the good positive intents in water. Yes. And then re put it under a microscope, took their pictures and showed how the crystals was clear. Yes. Was bright. Yeah. And then they took water and also put bad thoughts in it. Yeah. Now this is old technology again. Yeah, They're yeah. proving it more and more, and uh, uh, energy was all yucky and stuff like this. Yeah. But also they did it with plant life, kids in the school, yeah. where they had one plant and all the kids put good energy into it that was growing real good and prosperous, yeah. and another plant they said bad words to it. Yeah. It's growth started to hold itself. We do this to each other all the time. This is why these good thoughts that's coming off of your body, your energy, and also being around people who's talking good to you, have a difference on you energetically. Yes. This is very, very powerful. We're in the age of energy work again. This is a new technology, which yes. is old technology, yes. that we're resurrecting. And yes, this got something to do with living on prana. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> these are cards which have been prepared and they are distributed by John Mendes. He's also called Smarty uh, and he, he keeps coming up with various products depending on the goals that a person could have and he charges them with his energy and intent as uh, Elitome just uh, mentioned. These are available on his website uh, holotech.biz. Oh, absolutely. And last uh, but not the least are these two books. Uh, this one is a book on Vajrayana Buddhism. Uh, by Longchen Rap Jam. This book promises that, and I have experienced it very often, that uh, within reading a couple of pages, my Kundalini starts rising, my mind becomes more blissful, peaceful, I'm much more uh, blissed out, much more harmonious. So that's the power of this book and its, its content. It's, it's on this aspect of uh, Vajrayan Buddhism called as Dzogchen, which is, uh, which is Ati Yoga. Uh, which is the highest form of uh, spiritual awakening and the book uh, is packed with energy just by reading a bit uh, you feel extraordinarily uh, powerful and this is the same tradition which has given the rainbow body to the world the, <laughs> the, the light body uh, precisely uh, you know getting yourself a light body and uh, which is almost beyond even physical immortality this is but, awesome yeah yeah just by reading a book yeah. It's like guaranteed this book is charged up. That's basically what it's saying. We're going to talk more about it. Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. going. So uh, lastly is this another book. This now one. listen to yes. this before you even describe it. Sure. You gave this book to him one time. Yes. He now, was, first of all, uh, you go and tell <laughs> what happened. Yeah. It was just uh, one year back when I got this book from Mr. Bhavin Shah. He just told me that just read it once, man. Nothing else. Your life will change. And uh, yesterday or two days back, I have told her Tom that from seven to eight years, I was struggling for my health. Mm -hmm. I was not getting up. I lost my 15 kgs. So this, uh, th there is no direct connection with it, but the book's energy will change some of my regular energy, my regular thoughts that it got twisted up. <laughs> and yeah, uh, reading this once, it's too powerful. I have now read it at three, four times, and uh, it's it's very, very powerful, very, very grounding. Right. When I read it, I feel it grounding to myself, harnessed to the real life. You're working with energies. Yep, I work with the energies of this guru. And we gotta understand. See, we take a book for granted. Yes. Any book. Yes. yes. Now listen at this. This is technology. Some people don't look at it like this. What this is, is a series of codes that somebody put in there, took their thoughts, and put it into the 2D. Yes. And depending on, depending on their intent, this is an energy, a matrix of energy. Yes. So when a person gets it on the other end, yes. and when they start decoding it, that's what learning how to read is all about. Yes. You are picking up that person's thoughts, even if you never met the person. Yes. So you're picking up the energy and how you discern discerning it. So you're bringing in this energy into your being, and it has the power, if you discern it properly, to bring on that new energy, to bring on that new charge of the physical person you never met. Yeah. They basically took your consciousness and put it across the planet. Yeah. 
There was times like when I traveled, the books I have. I'll go to somebody's house, they never met me. My book is sitting there, and they say, you helped me off the words that I read in the book. So I didn't have to be there. That's an energetic exchange that's taking place. Yeah. So this is very powerful, and especially these books is talking about a certain wisdom that we're talking about energetically. Yes. So these do have the power. Can you feel the energy in these? Absolutely. Yes. So there was a lot of care taken. It's more than just words again. Yes. This is technology. And even today, this is kind of better. I ain't going to say better. It's a different technology than we have now dealing with the computer. You don't need to plug this up. Yes. I can drop it. It didn't break. <laughs> I can take it off the grid with me. Because there's some places that the cell phone don't go. There's no cell phone towers. Yeah. So bring a book with you and read that technology. Yeah. You still got the information with you. This is very powerful technology that many take for granted. Yeah. But this is how, again, you can meet other teachers, meet other gurus, yeah. right through the language of reading and writing. Yeah. Very powerful. So <laughs> this is this is my uh, this is a book on there's a biography on this great guru. Uh, Deep Narayan Mahaprabhuji and his master Sri Devapuriji. So Deep Narayan Mahaprabhuji was an incarnation of Lord Vishnu and his master uh, Sri Devapuriji was an incarnation of uh, Lord Shiva himself. <laughs> he, he lived a life of 130 years plus uh, in Rajasthan, uh, India and it is because of his divinity uh, that this book is so powerful, uh, even by reading three to four, I can't afford to read beyond uh, five, six pages because what happens is uh, I get so spaced out and so blissed out that I find it difficult to form thoughts and interact in the real world. He's telling the truth. Yeah. He gave a book to me and I read it, what, one page? Yeah. And I had to sit down and say, whoa, yeah. there was a thought that caught me and it took me somewhere else. That's the power again yeah. of technology. Yeah. This is really awesome. Yeah. And the <laughs> wonderful part is that uh, you don't. This was uh, given to us by Leonard Orr, the uh, founder of the entire rebirthing breathwork movement. Uh, perhaps has 20 million plus people across the world practicing that uh, form of breathwork and spiritual purification with the elements. So he was deeply inspired by the power of this book, and he has been doing his bit in uh, promoting this uh, book uh, to the world. Then the power, the last point that I would like to make is that even if you're not having the physical book, you go to their website leelaamrut.org and you read the same uh, two or three pages on their website and you will feel that your Kundalini is already moving. You know, you don't need to have the physical book uh, also oh, with you. Yes. And see, so look how you said that even go to the website, yes. you can get charged up. Yes. See. We just think physical food, that's child's play. There's another food dealing with information. Yes. There's some information that can drain you, take energy from you, yes. and there's some information you can seek and find and it will charge you up, yes. change your direction in life. Yes. So we've been taking this for granted and we're working with it more and more. Yes. Now, about a couple decades ago, I ran into this machine at the time called a harmonic translator. Yes. And this really got deep. You can actually... Uh, the machine, you hook it up to your computer, it shows your body, the energy coming off of it, and it will show you where the blockage is out of your body. Yeah. But not only that, we got equipment that can do that now. Yeah. It will tell you the best vibration to use to help relieve that energy. Right. So you can actually take that information, sure. put it in the email, send it to somebody. Yeah. When they open up the email, that vibration hits them. Wow. To help remove the energy. Beautiful. See, on my website, uh, I mean, on my YouTube channel, I got light transmissions. Yes. We actually send uh, energy through the computer. Yes. This is all energy again. So again, you are in an age now where you're getting educated to be a more advanced energy worker in everything you do. Yes. You're being nourished or you're either being drained from energy or you can gain more energy. Yes. And we're constantly doing energy exchanges with each other. Yes. See, there was a time that even shamans and stuff would not let you take their picture. Yeah. See, every time somebody think about you, they send energy to you. Yeah. They call that putting cords on people. A cord is sort of like a rope. You could be walking down the street. Somebody could look at you, make a judgment, and they just put a cord on you. That's why you even got to get used to uh, doing energy showers on yourself to break unwanted cords of negativity if somebody shot that at you. Or 
You can have family members you, or members of your teacher. You could purposely have their cords put on you so you can keep that energetic connection because yeah. we're all energetically connected. So this stuff is real. Yeah. When you start working with it and becoming more sensitive to it, even if you're ignorant to it, it's still taking place. Yeah. This is very powerful. Yeah. So again, we're in the age of energy work, and this has everything to do with living on planet. Yeah. This is powerful. <laughs> So I have been using this for quite some time for myself and I, I have been deeply benefited by uh, savoring these and by soaking in all these uh, energy devices and I have used it with a lot of my uh, students and each of them has uh, profoundly benefited from uh, all this energy work. Uh, last but not the least I, I am hoping and I am uh, really looking forward for Elitome to create some of these products of his own, <laughs> uh, which should all be available to uh, all of us uh, who so very much value everything that Elitome has to offer. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. what we're going to start doing, charging up that download yeah. of the pranic information. That's not far-fetched again. Because yeah. uh, like what people say now, usually when a person's holding a certain vibration and you're in their presence, it does start affecting the other uh, person's vibration. So, of course, we're going to start dealing with things in the future where we're going to start transmitting even more, yeah. uh, dealing with putting it in different objects to give to people to use it to help them with their journeys and everything else. Again, we're just opening up the door for this, but this stuff is real. Start working with it. Uh, it's sort of like where they used to make magic wands. And they used a word in, uh, on a movie industry called Hollywood. Now, the Druids up in Europe they used to make magic wands out of the wood of a holly tree. That's what they get that word from. So all you're doing is taking a piece of wood, charging it up through prayer, meditation every day, and it gets stronger. You can use it for healing, use it to help you with your uh, directing your thought process, because there's two different types of people that works with energy. Some people just choose to use their own body, and some people use, choose to use instruments. Some people use the crystals, the different types of stones, the different types of amulets. When I was just a Nubia in uh, Aswan in southern uh, um, Egypt, I went to this house and it had all these beautiful decorations. But this is what the man said. Some people look at this as artwork, but these are amulets. Yes. Each picture on the wall meant something and it was producing a certain energy yes. intent that what they wanted, to, the flow of energy they wanted in the house. Again, all cultures is talking about it. We've been doing it. Even when you go to the modern world, they had a thing dealing with sports players and uh, gamblers. How they, by their instinct, uh, was doing things that would give them good luck. Yeah. Lucky charms. That's kind of in, in, that's kind of in our DNA yeah. to want to have a blessing, yeah. to want the better edge on something energetically. So again, we're just becoming more aware of this. Yeah. Uh, learning how to work with these energies, charging things up, and again, you can have so much fun when you become aware yes. of what's taking place. Yes. See, even when you buy clothes, for instance, see, some people take this seriously. You don't know who made your garment. It could have been made in a sweat factory, somebody who don't uh, like uh, doing what they're doing and being forced into the labor. So that thought and idea is going into the object. So usually some people, when they buy stuff, instead of using it or wearing it right away, the sun is a great cleanser. Yeah. So you'll put your uh, shoes there that you just bought, your yeah. shirt. Allow the sun to cleanse it out. Uh, people are putting water in, uh, under the sun now before they drink it. I used to take water, for instance, and have it in a, a certain type of a jug, but I'll put good words on it. Yeah. So it can change the taste of the water. So again, this stuff is real for people who take it seriously. Right. A person on a planet journey, this is advanced energy work. Yeah. But last but not least, going back to what we're saying, when I say living on prana is meditation is the foundation, you're constantly charging up your body. Yes. It's an instrument, it's an object, and it's needed to get those energy flows going. Yeah. The, the way you think is coming off the object again. Yeah. So whether it be externally, or externally, yeah. all of us is working with energy. Yes. It's about who gets more knowledge of it and how to apply it. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And what needs to be done is not, uh, and not just being 
sort of attracted to it or mesmerized by it, but using it day after day after day after day, that is the, uh, the real secret of growth. That's the secret of it. Yeah. And you'll start seeing these powers. Yeah. Practice, perfect practice made perfect. Yeah. And there's some things, like I told a person, we were doing a meditation, they felt the energy from it, but this is what I threw at them. Just think if you was to do the same meditation for a week, how would you feel? Yeah. Man, I could see that. Yeah. How about a month? Yeah. How about three months? Yeah. A year down the line. Yeah. The energy does not stop. It's we who hold it. Right. If you stay consistent, it will continue to grow. Yeah. First, it'll start affecting your blood flow. Then it'll start going into the muscle. Pretty soon, it'll start going into the bone, and it will stay there. Yes. And then that's where it gets exciting. That's why when you meet a, a spiritual master or a person who's working with the energy at a high level, they did it so consistently throughout the years, yes. you feel the effect coming off the body yes. just like when you do an object. Yes. So when we work with these objects, put the energy into there, yes, put it into your prayer every day, charging it up. And it will have effects for what you need it for, for yourself and also to help others. Yeah. This is what it's all about. This is the technology that always been here, yeah. and we're just resurrecting and bringing it back yeah. so you can have fun on your spiritual journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome once again. So again, like there's two types of people. All of us has access to all the energies available in this realm that we're living in. But there's some people who know this, and they only seek the uh, information when they need it. You yeah. got that type of person. Yeah. They don't pray every day. They don't yeah. meditate every day and say, I'm still hooked up anyway. That's the truth. Yeah. But when they need it, it's available, and that's when they start seeking out different ways to deal with it. The bad thing is that they let it go too far, how much work you got to do. Yes. Then you got another type of person who works with it every day, and that's the person we say, it don't take all that. But yeah, it do. We need that type of person yeah. who stays in the game all the time, yeah. always working with the energy. So therefore, you got both type of people, those who works with it constantly by their nature for whatever reason, and those who pick it up when it's needed. Yeah. But we're both in the Army, both yeah. in the same team, working with the same forces. Yes. <laughs> yes. So again... Take this seriously. Is there anything else y'all got to say? No, that's it. Wishing you all the best as you practice this. Uh, uh, you could be, you could belong to one of the two categories. That doesn't matter as long as you are around this work and as long as you are productive. As long as we're it. aware of it. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So again, we'll be talking about food. Physical food is just at a dense frequency of frozen light. Yeah. You got other frequencies out here that nourishes us, even if you don't know it. Yes. It's doing that effect, but when you become aware of it, that's the pranic journey. Yeah. All right, yeah. we, it was nice talking to you. Yes. Have a nice day. Namaste. We, yeah, we will soon, Elitom will soon be doing a retreat at Palgar, Mumbai. Uh, yes, if any of uh, his Indian, uh, <laughs> Indian fans, I would say, would be keen that is us going to start in a, uh, in a couple of days, uh, right. or three days. And uh, uh, Elitom will be doing one more retreat at uh, in the outskirts of Mumbai on the April uh, 6th and 7th and I'll be uh, assisting him in conducting that with the technology of rebirthing and oh. spiritual purification with the five elements. And that's going to be yeah. deep because guess what? We're talking about immortality. immortality. We're yes. going there. Yes. yes. Why live a life yeah. and don't even think about working with these energies yeah. and taking it to a level? of a regenerative process that our bodies does naturally. Yeah. That is the greatest challenge that you can take on right now. Yeah. <laughs> we heartily invite you for these uh, two retreats, depending on how it resonates with you. And there's so, also one in Kumta. Oh, there's one in Kumta from the 20th to the 27th of this month near Absolutely. Bangalore. But ke yes. keep in mind, yeah. the retreats never end. It's every day. Yeah. We're on our way to the beach right now yeah. Yeah. to go work on our Qigong. <laughs> okay. So always stay following us. Keep up the date and form. I hope to meet you soon. Yeah. And uh, let's just keep working together and building these energies together and make this from myth to reality. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Have a nice day. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> India, is, India is loving Elitom being around in India. <laughs> yes. And bringing back it. the ancient knowledge of this country. 
Absolutely. Was. Yes. yes. It never died. It's always here. Yes. We just re-resurrected it, and now it's for everybody. <laughs> you can finish it on that. Finish. <laughs>